inspired by the gospel passage in Matthew 9:38 Saint Hannibal has taken the charism of Rogate to pray for good workers Father Hannibal founded two congregation in 1887 daughters of divine zeal of the heart of Jesus and 10 years later 1897 for men rogations of the heart of Jesus charism of rogate which is the charism of the rogation is, is expressed in three ways first of all by praying for good workers secondly spreading this charism spreading the spirit of this charism everywhere in the world thirdly by becoming a good worker by themselves helping the poor and the needy children 1986 il padre barbangelo è venuto qui in india per aprire una casa per i padri rogazionisti Now we have six communities in Kerala. Among them four are formation houses. The first formation house, Rogathe Ashram. The second one, Rogation's Community Aim. Then Rogation Seminary Community Manandava. Then our Novitiate Community Meenangadi. Rogate Charity Center is extending its helping hand to more than 1700 needy children. stations for the rogations in india a proposed hannibal's voice town in attapadi the first rogations mission outside kerala rogate snehabavan 
నల్గొండ It was a dream of former major superior laid for the Luigi Tofanin to start this mission here in Malgonda. Father Saji Kapikuri and Father Shaju Konathan came to Andhra Pradesh on August 1, 2009. After having a profound experience with the Salatians at Hyderabad and Vijayawada, upon the invitation of His Excellency Most Reverend Govind Joji, Bishop of Nalgonda Diocese, they arrived at Nalgonda on 26th March 2010. Frogate Snehbhavan was undertaken by St. Joseph Constructions Hyderabad. They have finished the project within one and a half years. The Rogations project at Nalgonda, Rogate Snehabhavan, could accommodate 50 boys as interns. It can also offer short-term courses like carpentry, electronics, electricals, welding, computer, bakery, plumbing, printing technology, etc. To many poor and marginalized children of the locality. The mission of this project is to provide relief to children at risk of any age, race, of religious belief, and the vision is to enable the individuals to take responsibility for the future into their own hands and to live independently. And it will be a wonderful occasion, thank the Lord, because He made us instrument of His of his work, of his presence, of his activity in India. Then I would like also to thank all the, to congratulate all the fathers, brothers, novices, apostles and seminarians who have answered the call of God. It was possible our presence, our work in India, also because of the generosity of the first missionaries.